Hey everybody, Tony George along with Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. This is the marquee matchup, but a little different twist today. We're going to talk about the BCS Final Four, where we think things stand, mm -hmm. maybe some of the odds on these teams, some of their proclivities, this, that, and the other. We're a little over halfway through the season, Scott, and of course uh, a little upset in the balance of last week with Georgia going down. Sure. Uh, you got three teams in the SEC uh, really that are in the, in the narrative, and mm -hmm. that would be LSU, obviously, especially after last week. Right. Alabama, blah, 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 and then Georgia was in there. Well, Georgia sure. got up into by South Carolina, not sure they're going to recover enough in the eyes of the media and the polls and, and all the mm -hmm. stuff that goes into deciding the Final Four, but four teams to make the college football playoffs, Scott, and I'm just going to start out real quick with my top four, if you don't mind. Okay. Shoot. I'm just going to run down them. I'm Play still stuck strokes. on proclivities. The dude's oh. got me confused, man. Well, you know, I, you know, <laughs> I went to the University of Nebraska for six years. Where the which, N stands for knowledge. That's right. Well, I went there for six years. It's a four-year university, and I got a two-year degree. There you go. <laughs> a lot of times, you know, chase the skirts and they'll tie stick, you know, trying to figure out the meaning of life. So. Tie stick is popular league, at least it was back in the day. I'm from Omaha. So yeah, well, there, there you go. There you, go. <laughs> well, you know, another tragic tale of wasted youth. But <laughs> on to the top four. Yeah, on to the top four. Um, the best team in the country, in my opinion, and they're sitting at 9 to 2 odds right now, is the Ohio State Buckeyes. I like them in every facet of the game, including coaching, including special teams, including depth, quarterback, running back, the defense. Their defensive end, maybe the best defensive player in football. LSU, I have ranked number two in this uh, seven to one odds. Three, Oklahoma at five to one. Mm -hmm. Four, Alabama at two to one. And you're looking at my cheat sheet. And yeah. I got Clemson on the outside at three to one looking in because they haven't played anybody really and they're not going to play anybody. So that being said, Scott, that's kind of where I'm sitting right now with the uh, final four. Well, and maybe Wisconsin yeah. may sneak in there it depends. They got to play Ohio State, so let's see what happens there. Absolutely. But I'm not going to count them out either. Well, that's the thing. Now, let's start with Wisconsin. Then for me, yeah. 15 to one odds currently, or thereabouts. You might find a little bit differently than that, depending on where you shop. But uh, they have their remaining tough games are at Ohio State, home against Iowa. I threw this in there for the heck of it, but they're not going to have a problem here at Nebraska, and then at Minnesota might be a little bit of a tough go for it because PJ Fleck has put his stamp on this program and they're starting to play some serious football up in Minneapolis. He put a stamp on our Huskers oh, last week. Everybody's putting a stamp the on The rodents got over on the, on the bug eaters last week. It wasn't good. Oh, oh, Nebraska, man. find an offensive line. Oh, you know how many 350-pound farm boys you have there? I grew up there. I can say that. I know. They're on every street corner. Please. That sounds bad. But yeah. anyway, 300-pound linemen are, are plenty in high school in Nebraska. But that offensive line for Nebraska is terrible. Oh, go borrow some Another from, subject. Go borrow some from Wisconsin. There you go. Yeah. Go up the street. You know, Barry Alvarez, when he came to Wisconsin way back when, and he said, we got something we're going to do with this program. We're going to get our hands and feet from Florida, Texas, and California, and we're going to get our heart and soul from the state of Wisconsin. And he's done just that. Yeah. And no program really knows what they've wanted to do for the past 20 years like the Wisconsin Badgers. Yeah. Nothing but hats off to that program. Uh, but I mentioned their tough games. They had that tough game against Ohio State. That's next week, after this week. And I'm sure we'll be talking about a little marquee action when that game rolls around. Oh, yeah. Uh, Alabama's two and a half to one right around there. They do have the home game against LSU. LSU's for real, folks. Oh. Defense, they can pass the football. Eddie Orgeron didn't sit around, rest on his laurels. He went out there and he said, we're going to speed things up a little bit on offense. We're going to throw the ball a little bit more on offense. And I like what they've done. Uh, they should get by Auburn. But, again, it's a road game against War Eagle. And they yeah. can always catch them. Uh, Ohio State, as you mentioned, I'm in agreement. I think they're the best team. The hardest nut to crack is the Buckeye. Yeah. And I think they're the best team in college football right now. Uh, they do have Wisconsin. They do have a home game against Penn State. That is losable. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a game at Michigan. That is the yearly win, so no problem yeah. there. Uh, Oklahoma, I, I'm not sold on Oklahoma. I don't think they're quite at the level of Ohio State, Wisconsin, Alabama. You don't think their defense impressed last week against Texas a little well, bit? Well, it did a little because bit Because that was a thought. big question mark oh, going sure, into that sure. game where the, where, where it was stated publicly, no, they have point. no defense. Yeah. They played Kansas. Yeah. They played UCLA. We talked about sure. it last week. We gave you the lead on Texas in the market. Yeah, that was my free video right. last Saturday was Texas. There you go. But, but I thought it was going to be higher scoring. Yeah. yeah so. Well, but, but then again, Oklahoma's defense stepped up to the plate and held right. that scoring down and really did a nice job. And sure. I, so that put them back in the narrative for me. At well, least they're top, top six. Four. Oh, for me, yeah. yeah, at least. I mean, yeah. there's no doubt about that. Uh, Penn State, 45-1. to 1. I threw them in there because of that number. Mm -hmm. They've got three roadies left at Michigan State, 
Minnesota, and Ohio State. I don't think they get through that unscathed. I think mm -hmm. there's one loss in there probably against Ohio State on the road. Here's the team that I think you might as well ink it in right now. They're going to be in the Final Four, and not because they're playing the best football that they played in the last three or four years, but because it's, I mean, they play Cupcake City, mm -hmm. they play Podunk Tech, and that is the Clemson Tigers. I know. I they don't play anybody this year. And listen, they are a national championship contending type of talented football team with a coach who knows how to win national titles. And they have a cupcake schedule. So even though they haven't always looked great this year, and by great I mean relatively speaking to these last couple of years we've seen out of Clemson, oh, yeah. they're going to get there. They, they don't play anybody at all. Uh, so Clemson, for me, is number one because of that. Mm. I think Ohio State's the best team. I think Clemson has the best chance to get to the Final Four. I'm going to throw Ohio State in the mix. I'm going to say they get by both Wisconsin and Penn State because they have them both at the horseshoe. they got them both coming to Columbus. So I'm going to go with Clemson, Ohio State. Of course, you got a Big Ten championship you got to play. Right. Clemson has an ACC title game, but nobody's playing well in that conference for the most part. Maybe Mac Brown beats them again. You know, Well, I don't know if they're in the same division. Are they? Got to think for a second. Mac Brown did give them some work, but uh, Cupcake City. So Clemson, Ohio State, and I'm going to go with uh, Alabama. I think they sneak past LSU at home, so we'll put them in the mix. And then my fourth team, Tony, I mean, it's kind of between, I, I guess i got to go with Oklahoma. The yeah. schedule's not overly tough. They're home against Iowa State, which if they were at Ames, Big 12 I'd champs. say maybe a loss. Big 12 champs, they beat yeah. Tech. If they end up getting Texas in the Big 12 sure. championship, beating them twice in the same yep. year. they got to play they're at gonna, Manhattan. They're going to put them in. At Manhattan, at Waco, at Stillwater. Baylor couldn't win them. They, they couldn't beat Baylor in Manhattan. No. They're not going to beat Jalen Hurts is too good. Yeah, so there's my good. four teams that I think gets and in. And Lamb, by the way, is one of the best players in yeah, college definitely. football for no Oklahoma. Yeah. Big time Great playmaker. offensive mind as far as the coach is concerned. But so. you've got, you're going to have the arguments. There should be six. There should be eight in the mix. That's right. the way they should do it. And it all boils down, especially with the SEC teams and even the Big Ten, ten teams, the undefeated guy standing in those two conferences are the ones that's going to make it. There's sure. not going to be much argument. Clemson's shoe in because they're just going to be gifted it, basically, because they're not playing anybody in the right. ACC. Those are our thoughts on the Final Four right now. We'll touch base with this later on in the season sure. after a few of these big game happens and reassess the odds for those. Thanks for tuning. For Scott Spreitzer, I'm Tony George. Get over to DocSports.com. All your college football action. Get on it. Click the link in the description below. Get a free 60 bucks. Come visit us. Win yourself some money. Thanks for tuning in.